Gregor, congratulations. Uh, how confident were you in your sprint? Uh, to be honest, not super conf uh, confident, but uh, well, I knew it's, it, it was not fine anymore. I saw the last left turn, I knew uh, with 300 meters to go, we had the roundabout. So uh, the directors told me, told me everything in the radio. And yeah, when the moment was there, I, I knew it was now or never, and uh, so I decided to go. And yeah, luckily, it it was enough. Yeah. On the climb, you had to go the Italian. You had to let go the Italian. Were you convinced that you were going to catch him again in the downhill? Uh, I was not super convinced, but I thought like, well, to, together we can we can manage it. We can do it, especially with the last kilometers. They were not flat, uh, and uh, I mean. Uh, a lot of headwind, so he was he was the strongest in the group by far. Um, his ability to climb with 19 years of age is, is great. Yeah. yeah. Um, what's after this for you? Because you are on planning for the Tour of Romandie, and then I will I will do a training camp after Romandie in uh, or with the team in Andorra, and then uh, Dauphiné will be my next race. And after Dauphiné, yeah, I, I, I hear training camp Dauphiné. Uh, there's one more race afterwards. Yeah, well, <laughs> I hope so. I hope to do it, but uh, yeah, we we don't know who is going to do, going to do it. Uh, there are two or three guys who, who already know, but the rest is uh, yeah, it's not safe. And what does this mean? This victory mean for you? Yeah, it means a lot. I mean, also also in the team, it was my first victory for the team and uh, my first victory after nearly 1,000 days. So it's. It's quite nice to win again and uh, yeah, I'm super grateful uh, with the team, super happy to be here and uh, yeah, this is one for the guys.